Good to see you, Hunter. We are in Red Feather Falls. I'm going to change my clothes here any minute, and this is why. All right, we change clothes. These are the guest clothes, so no protection whatsoever. I will bring the 243, and I will even use the non-zoomable scope, the scope that everyone gets. And all the equipment I have will be this. And just to prove my point, this is the look at the inventory. And I will even use the bleed call that, that everyone gets. Not even use the, the grunt call. Many of you might not even remember what this sounds like. So this will be guest hunting at Red Feather Falls with the 243. Let's get the weapon ready. The scope has a fixed four time magnification. I cannot zoom in or out. This is how guests would hunt. So let's get going. I heard some Roosevelt elk cows calling while making the little intro. Not sure where they're at, but usually going south here from the Darkwood Lodge, I would expect the first call to be from a white tailed deer. Could be male or female. Females are, are uh, more likely to call. The calling probability is the same. It's just that there's more females, so th there's a higher chance for a doe to call. But we will start with anything that comes along. If a monster elk comes along, I will not be able to shoot this. Thank you very much, Nevin Gaming, for this suggestion, for this style of hunting. But uh, I will have to really blame you if I miss a large trophy, beat elk or moose whatever should come along. First track ahead. White tailed deer buck. Oh, pretty close. 60 to 80 kilograms is very small. But the buck is very close and it didn't call because of the Roosevelt elk cows that already called. And since I've been running this buck will likely be gone. I don't find the next track here straight ahead. What is this? That would be a doe given the weight. And we have a new buck. Glad. This should be bigger than the one that ran. Or uh, we don't know the whereabouts. Oh, how I started to hate this caller after a while. I was so glad to get the grunt call. So the shooting will be have to be formidable today. We can't have them come too close. I don't have any scent eliminator. And I only have the 243. And no zoom. <laughs> Let's see what's coming. I doubt it's gonna be a big buck. Again, we've been running here for a while. Just checking where the circles are. Over here, we should be seeing it. Unless they're sick of the bleed call as well. There's a standard buck coming. It's going to score 115. Something like that. Very many white tail bucks like this. So just today they released a new albino version of the white tails. Better color would be great to find one, but of course it's very rare. Attempt from the front. Let's see what we got. Should have been lungs. 
from this close. And it wasn't just a body shot. Second blood track is already near 50%. This one's going to be somewhere in the 30s, saying that the buck's going to die. So here's our buck. I was just waiting, crouching a little bit, not to spook it any further. So it had time to die, so to speak. First buck shot here. And scored better than I thought. Another mid-sized white-tailed deer. Standing behind the tree there. Why don't you move just a little bit? Or if you don't, then I will. You get a good shot from here. Okay, let's go see what we hit. And this looks good. Long shot. And the dead deer is up ahead. Shot from 70 meters and the score is 118. We've got a doe over here, which I'm going to spare. Because what I have here is a nice buck. And I think I hear another doe to my right here. Angling away. But not an issue from this close. It said 132, 165. Good looking rack. But uh, missing some tines. So let's guess this one. 147. 151, not too bad. We'll back this guy and continue. Another white tail buck calling from down the road. I've been calling it. Oh, and there it is. Pretty close now. Surprise, surprise, what are you? Oh, wow. This is going to score 20 below zero. And there it is down. Really tiny buck. Scoring a whopping 43.662. <laughs> All right, this was just south of Darkwood. I'm, I'm just gonna go further west now towards Trapper's Rest Lodge. See what we can find there. Beautiful setup here. I'm near the river and across the river. I've got a buck calling. So I called it back. It will be looking for a passage to cross the river. Uh, there it is. Another really small buck. Thank you for standing. <sighs> Looks like a good shot, but it also seems I will not be able to drop them here. 
with the 243 from this distance. I'm going to guess this was a 80 to 90 meter shot. So he was aiming to go over here, so there must be a passage. And here is the passage he was going to take. Let's see what we hit here. 85%, 57, 57. Oh wow, this is going to be interesting. Still tracking this buck while I get the call from another right here. I've been crouching after the badly shot one. Well, I don't know how bad or how good it was shot, but um, it didn't seem very hurt. Percentage went below 50%, so I'm thinking it's, it's going to die. But now I have this one here. That is another small buck. Moose in the back. Just waiting for it to stop. And from this angle, this should go well. And now we have two bucks on the run. And before getting to the first track, we have the dead buck lying back there. The distance wasn't too big, 30, 35 meters maybe. It was over 40 meters and also over 40 the score. Another tiny one and I'm going to go back to looking for the other. And it seems we do have a dead buck. Let's look at the wound time. Let's see how long it ran. It survived for another four minutes, a score of 54. And what I want to check really is where I hit it. So what did we hit? So maybe the decal was already erased. But anyway, no, please. This was buck number six. Yep, I'm right here. I think I'm gonna call this a monster buck after what we've been seeing. Shall we try a hard shot? That looks pretty good, the way it was standing there. It was really begging for a hard shot. So, compared to what we've been bagging, twice a 43, a 54, this is again among the bigger ones, but it's gonna be the usual 115 to 120 something. 109, and we did miss the hard. Just the stomach and the intestine, but this time the buck went straight down. And it looks like finally we have a decent buck. 170 to 195, wow. That's pretty cool. Now there's a competition going that requires you to shoot bucks over 50 meters without a scope. I'm going to take off the scope. I cannot measure the distance. Guys, tell me what this is. Is this over 50 meters? I don't know. I really don't know. It's been heading for the north here. And I hear another deer, which could mess up things. So, I want to try and shoot this one without the scope over 50 meters. 
and I have no tools whatsoever. Plus, it's a really nice, decent buck, over 170 scoring for sure. That means it is also very easily scared. There it comes. I'm not sure if I hit it. Let's go look. I did hit it. I did hit it. There it is. There it is. The distance will be decisive whether I hit it over 50 meters. Look at this beautiful rack. Oh, and it was a good shot. No! <laughs> oh! oh. 177, but it was only at 47 meters. It's not gonna count. Ah, uh, but anyway, what a nice buck to finish this off. Look at this. We've been hunting like a guest. No camo clothes, no zoomable scope. And I did say we even use the bleed call. It has the very same effect as the ground call. It's just more annoying. But that was it. We shot uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 bucks. I hope you enjoyed this short video. I hope you will enjoy, even if you play as a guest, it's really fun. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.